Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so uh, we celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you have bestowed eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant it, his fruit, the more altars he built, the more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what, the, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Aben shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. Sow for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. <clears throat> sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek, seek always, always the face of the, of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek Think always, always the, the face, face of the Lord. Lord. You, you descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek, Seek always, always the, the face, face of, of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaan, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The gospel may our sins be wiped away. <coughs> and so we are told the names of the twelve disciples. 
Jesus is the cornerstone of God's church here on earth, of God's leadership, of God's presence here on earth. Jesus is God and is the cornerstone. And on this cornerstone, he chose living stones, the 12 apostles, to support him in what he does and to spread the word and to spread God's goodness and God's power and the demonstration of God's kingdom into the house of Israel. And just the house of Israel, he said at first. Because it was first built on the stone of Jesus and on the supporting stones of the apostles and then on the stones of Israel, the people that God has long made his own. And he built his church upon them and it will keep on building. But in strength, first the stones uh, in the center of the church. And it extends out, and now it extends, of course, to all of us. We are part of the apostolic church. We are apostles of God sent out to draw, to build his church further, and to draw his children into the church, to strengthen the church for the basis, for the, for the purpose of strengthening them and all people in God, to give us faith, to give us holiness, to give us trust in God and the fullness of God's promises of life and of love forever and ever. This is built on Jesus and on the apostles, on Israel and on all the world. You see how it spreads out the church of the world it continues to grow and usher in the kingdom of God. We find that in the church and through the church and we pass to God's kingdom through Jesus' church, through the gateway Jesus has opened for us into his kingdom. Let us stay faithful to Jesus the word of God going back to the beginning, the living word of God going back to the earliest of days. And let us stay faithful to the church that God has given us, that God has led through these years. Again, the church is not a human institution. It's a divine institution. It's made for humans and it's filled with humans, but it's led by God. And the proclamations of the church are God's proclamations. And if you think about them, if you have any questions about them, examine them and find where is the love? Because God is love and all of his teachings and all of his guidance is based on love and formed around love. If you have any questions to ask, where is the love? There it is. That's why the church says this. That is why God tells us uh, to avoid sin and unholiness in, in general terms and in very specific terms. Don't do this, don't do that, because it's not loving. Uh, and we, we were trying, he's done that long ago, back in Deuteronomy, th through Moses, he passed out many, many commandments, not just the Ten Commandments, but rules on how to handle your slave and the foreigner among you. And all of these things are based on love and to be loving and kind and generous and uplifting and hospitable and merciful and generous. These are all acts of God. These are all acts of love. And these are the instructions that we are to follow. God's way of love. Not necessarily, not necessarily my way of love because my way can be jaded. Uh, but God's way is pure and true. He sends his 12 disciples out to Israel. He sends Israel out to everyone, those who will follow him. And he blesses the whole world at the beginning of this gospel and, and other places and proclaims that the kingdom of heaven is at hand now. Jesus has arrived. God is walking with us, and his kingdom is now.
Now, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the clergy, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they shepherd the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders around the world, may God grant them fortitude and patience in promoting and defending religious freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those suffering from the effects of natural disasters, may God bring them comfort and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the lost sheep of our community, may the voice of the Good Shepherd help them find their way back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have recently died in the light of Christ, especially Mary Wood and Daniel Sheriff, Sheriffs, may they be rewarded with the glory of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer this Mass today especially for Mrs. Hildreth and for George Jelinek. This Mass is offered for them in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for all the special people you are praying for right now who need God's care and his love and his guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. And for all the holy souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask that you grant us these petitions in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, they become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to shame in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all of his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet your, our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. 
And so, in company of the choirs of angels, we praise you and in joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her into the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the power, glory, and glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world, have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. 
May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be born. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. safe for eternal life. And now, please join me in reciting an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As lips has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.